underside of the beach house. Okay, and as you can see, we've got the entire outline done here, and I'll just show you that really quick, just in case you didn't understand the instruction. Um, it can be a little bit confusing, but as you can see, we went one block in on all sides. And the reason I did that is we're going to put some fence posts under later to make it look a little bit nicer. So the next thing you want to do is count in one, two, three, four, five. And on the fifth block, go ahead and cut those two out. And you can go ahead and grab a door and place that right there. And now you have ground access to your basement uh, as well as access from inside. And while we're in here, let's just go ahead and grab two more doors and place those in from the outside so skeletons can't shoot in. Uh, so we have some doors going into the house. All right, so now what you want to do is just grab your fence and go ahead and outline this little staircase here with some fencing. Just like that. Leave a space here to make it easier to get into. And that'll just keep you from falling into here, which is not pleasant. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some torches here. Uh, if I can find them. Let's see. Torches, 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 torches. There we go. And I'm just going to spam some torches on the wall here. Might not be very pretty, but, you know, just put the torches wherever you want. We just want to light this area up so we don't get mobs spawning down here. All right, and now we have a little basement area that you could use for storage or turn it into another room, whatever you want to do with it. Let's head outside, and we'll finish up with these fences. What you want to do now is just go around the outside of the house with these fences. I like leaving a space on either side of the door to make it easier to get to. And just continue to do that all the way around the house. Okay, and this is what that looks like. Looks pretty good. And as you can see, I went all the way around the entire perimeter here of the house with the fences. So now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and head back inside. And what we'll work on is a neat little thing that I came up with, um, with a little bit of inspiration from Chimney Swift 11. And that is a indoor bar, non-alcoholic of course, just sparkling grape juice. <laughs> um, what you want to do is put three levers on the wall. Um, and it's hard to tell with my texture pack because it's very realistic. Uh, but with the default texture pack and other texture packs, the levers on the wall tend to look like um, bottles. So we've got some sparkling grape juice bottles uh, along the wall there. The next thing you want to do is count one, two, and three blocks in. Go ahead and put a wooden plank and go back four blocks and then over one. And now we've got the little uh, bartender area here. And to make this bar, uh, which is completely optional, of course, um, what we are going to need to do is come down here into the basement. And we are going to need to place wooden planks like that. And you'll need redstone torches. Place one there and one there. And then you can just cover that right up. And it's just a little, little area in the basement. Uh, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. But the reason we need to do that is so we can come up here and right in the middle of the bar here, we're going to cut that out. And now you can see the two redstone torches. What we're going to do is grab our pistons, place, look down at the torch, and place it right there and do the same right next to it. And now I've got some stools, but the stools are a little bit too high. So we need some wooden slabs and just surround the stools with wooden slabs and do the same around the bar. And let's see, grab some more wooden slabs here. Go ahead and do that on the inside of the bar as well and on the top of the bar. And now we've got a cool little raised bar with a couple of stools that actually do look quite a bit like stools. And the bar is raised above them. And we've got our little bottles in the back. We can pour some sparkling grape juice for our guests. And as you can see, they cannot jump the bar. <laughs> it's a little bit, not, no, not enough space for them to jump the bar. That can be a good thing in some cases, I'd imagine. Um, all right. So now that that's done, you can go ahead and just place some torches around, light the area up, 
Don't want mobs spawning in here. That would be bad. You can stick torches wherever you want. I'm just spamming them around wherever I feel like it. You can make them pretty. Me, I just I just want some light. Don't really need it right now because it's daylight, but it's nice to have. Um, I would recommend I would recommend putting some torches out here um, on these fence posts to light up the stairway. Makes it a little bit easier to see. And you can go ahead and put some torches around the perimeter as well to keep mobs from spawning too close to your brand new beach house. And yes, this is a man-made beach. I am on a test world and it's all dirt and snow, so I had to go ahead and make this beach by hand. I don't have MC Edit or World Edit or anything like that, so I did do this all by hand. The only thing I have is too many items. Um, because being a test world, I cannot gather resources here. And that completes our beach house. And the nice thing about this, as I said earlier, is if you want quick access to the basement for storage supplies or whatever, you don't actually have to go through the house. You can come right out here, come in here, and just grab your stuff and go, which is pretty cool. And out back here, we've got our cool little uh, hot tub full of squid because this is the only source of water on the test map at this particular point in time. So every squid in the area is spawning in my hot tub. Um, squid are very annoying. They like to push. They're kind of dumb. But you can see the hot tub from over here inside. That's kind of cool. If you are on a beach and you've got like you know an ocean behind you, if you're on an island or something, that'd be a great view right there. You know, or you could if you had your ocean in front of you, you know, off your porch right here, another great view. So you can add walls. Uh, you could decorate this any way you want. This is just a very basic beach house. Put stuff wherever you want. Um, so if you like it, click the like button. Uh, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions, whatever, uh, just go ahead and post those in the comments. If you, you know, edit this build, change it up, make it even cooler, post a video response or post a link to a picture or something in the comments. I'm not sure if you can post links, but uh, yeah, so I do plan on doing some more tutorial videos. And in the future, I do plan on doing a user collaboration world where I will take your requests and the entire map uh, that I will be using will be built and you know from your requests I will build every single request nothing will be my own idea it'll be all yours and in the end hopefully we'll have this awesome collaboration of really neat ideas um, and I do plan on doing some multiplayer uh, videos with my girlfriend uh, sometime in the near future uh, we might do some custom maps maybe survival island uh, you know like uh, Paul Soros Jr. does in Man Woman Minecraft or you know we could do uh, the lost map like Chimney Swift 11 has done with his girlfriend and uh, I just think that's a really cool idea. Tell me what you guys think, uh, and tell me, you know, uh, if you have any neat ideas, um, any suggestions, just let me know. So, if you like the video, click like, subscribe, because I will be putting out more videos. Um, and stay tuned for the next one. It should be out soon. Talk to you later.